Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to Doki Doki Forest. I am so glad that you're here. Now today I'm going to be talking about my Hobonichi journals or Hobonichi Techo and let you know what I'm going to be using this year and how I'm going to be using it or at least how I think. Of course plans can always change and we can always decide to go over to another journal or use a journal a different way if it's not working but some of these things I've been doing for about five years now so it's just kind of you know the same thing each time and I also will be trying a couple of new things so let's have a look and see what's in here put together the journals and I'll talk about what I'm doing so we have the box here lifebook 2024 Hobonichi Techo 2024 and I already have opened it and looked at things, but I thought that I would just show you some of this in case you haven't seen it. When you first open the box, there's always a quote. Each year they have a new color, a new theme, and a new quote. So this one says, A calendar is filled with numbers, days that have passed, and days still to come. It's funny. Of all of them, the only one we are living is today. The only day we can reach out and touch is today. And that's from Safety Matches Fireside Chat. And then you open it and inside are whatever goodies you ordered, of course. <laughs> so let's look and see. I'm going to put this to the side and then I will just take some things out to show you. Okay, so one thing I buy every year is the Hobonichi Weeks style of planner. And... Here's my one that I used for last year. It has Moomins on it, and it has a glare because it has a protective cover on it. And this is basically a planner you can use to just fill up with your weekly plans. So this year, there was an artist, Yumi Kitagishi, who had several items in the Hobonichi collection, and I just fell in love with it. So this is the week's planner, and it's called Take a Look. English edition and I just loved this little kitty so we'll open this up and there's a cute little cute little book actually it's not a bookmark it's a little booklet how cute is that good morning let's fly Eep. ah that's nice got your handkerchief that's funny life is present That's so cute. That's their theme for this year. So here's the weeks and it says, hope you have a wonderful day. And it has a beautiful fabric cover. And then when you open it, uh, it says Hobonichi in letters all over the place here. And then as you open it, you can just see how it's set up. There's some calendar pages in the beginning. I don't usually use these. I just kind of skip into this part. And you can see it lays it out Monday through Sunday each week. And then you have a place over here where you can write notes. And then at the bottom, there's a little quote for each day. And I love the quotes. So let's see, this one, I'll read you this quote here, just randomly opened up to this page. It says, If I hadn't met someone I thought was the one, I think I'd still be single. And I think I would have loved being single. Single or married. Life can be fun either way. In thinking about love, I think that's the first thing to remember. And that's from Nimu Yumemi, who is a bookseller, publisher, character, merchandise producer. And this must be the book, maybe. Nimu, Nimu and Hiroshi talk about books and love. So yeah, I basically write my weekly plans over here, just the to-do, like, you know, I have an appointment on this day, or, you know, the kids have a half day on this day, things to remember each day. And then over here, lately I've been writing different art things that I want to get done for either Patreon or YouTube, but it's also good just for, like, you know, journaling, like, oh, I wanted to write this down, and a lot of times... I'll write something here that just happened during the day or over here I'll write down like a book somebody mentioned that they said is like a really good book or a movie you know it's just a great place to jot things down or if you have this with you while you're out and about um, you know and all of a sudden you have a really good idea when you pull over or stop you can quickly jot down the idea or a song on the radio you're like oh I want to remember what that is so it's kind of a nice 
portable little planner that you can both keep track of your days as well as jotting down any notes that are helpful for you. And then to go with that, this is the cover. So you can buy these vinyl covers that go on and protect it. And they just slide right in. So we'll just, you just put one side of the cover in like that, push that in, and then you gotta kind of, oh, there's a little something at the back. Hold on, we'll look at that. And then you kind of have to bend the book a little bit over like this to get the other side in but it's very flexible and it's okay and once you get it started it just slides right in there and there's a little pocket here so you can tuck ephemera or a gift card that looked cool like if you ever go to a coffee shop or a bookstore and they have little gift cards sometimes I just grab them because they're cute and you can tuck that in there or in this case we have a little kitty we can tuck in there and they give you a pocket as well so uh, you could put that there but I have this pocket so I don't really need it there so I'm not sure and this is a little tuck as well in the front so you could tuck anything in there stamps or you know whatever you want to put in there and that's pretty much my setup for my weekly or weeks planner and this I use constantly that's really a useful planner for me to have all the time and then each year I always buy these planners. This is the A6 size Techo. And so this is my one for the end of last year, which I have here and it's loaded and there's still some stuff that's like poking out that I was going to put in there that I haven't finished yet. And this is basically my daily planner. And so this is more like family memory keeping photos, little photos that I print out with my mini printer. Um, it could be just a sticker page or drawing or whatever. If I don't really have much to say or much that happened that day, then I can just doodle on there. So this is my one that I finished with last year. And then this year I got this cover, which is Yumi Kitagishi again. And this is her cover called Little Things. And I did already previously open it. Oh, and we have another one of these little kitties here. But you can see here's the cover. And she drew all of these objects that she loved and I don't know if they were on her desk or around her house but it's really cute and there's a little pocket here where you can again you can tuck anything you want little ephemera and things of that nature and then in the front there's all kinds of tuck spots for little things you can bring with you you could have a little card with some washi on it um, you know again stickers papers anything and now I have to open this box this was a second box that I ordered because I forgot to buy the insert that goes in here and that was okay because I was buying something else at the same time. So I'm going to now just quickly switch over and open this box. This is a little one. Now this I haven't looked in yet. Oh, and I'll tell you about these as well. These are the free gift that you get. So here we have a cover. We have our covers here, some clear covers. So we'll take those out. Oh, and the pens. So every year they have free gifts that they send you if you buy certain items. So like if you buy the cover plus the planner that goes inside, they send you a pen and these pens are awesome. They're always different color pens on the outside like the plastic and then they're always these tricolor blue, black, and red and I love these. And they tuck right in the tab here so they're perfect. And then this year they had these which I will show you. Let me get my ones that I've opened previously. So inside each of these is a random little mini bag and there were four different designs. I have these two so far. I have snack o'clock with a pretzel and how are you today? And these are just really cute little bags. You can just put a few little journaling supplies in there and bring that with you or a snack. So we'll open these together. I don't know what's in here. I hope it's different, but you know, we'll see how that goes. You never know when it's random. Okay, so we have a cover for this here. And I like to buy these two book sets that you can get for this size planner because I find that, and again, you get the little booklet inside, which I can tuck right there. Um, and here's the two 
set booklet. And I like these because they're divided January through June for one and July through December for the other. And you can get just one book to put in here and use it for the year. I can't do that with this particular planner because it gets too chunky once I start loading it up with all different things. So I found that buying the set was the best way to go for me personally for this particular use just because, um, yeah, otherwise it just gets really um, bulky and was hard to enjoy and flip through. So we'll put this in. Each one has a little serial number in the back. And again, we just kind of have to bend it a little and it feels, feels strange to do at first, but then you realize it just slides right in. That's okay. And then this second book I will put back in the Hobonichi box and then I know exactly where it is when it comes time. And it's nearing July and it's time to migrate over into the new book. So we'll just kind of squish that in there and then we'll get this end over here. And again, we just bend it just a little bit, but it does slide in. Just get the tab out of there and then just a little bit of wiggling back and forth. And these are just really nice protectors for the journal. So that way they stay clean and you can put them in your bag or pocketbook and bring them with you. And you don't have to worry about them getting pen marks or any kind of marks on and there's these little bookmarks here so you can mark the page i'm going to put my bookmarks right here on january 1st because i need to get in here and get this one going actually i haven't even finished last year's yet so i have to catch up on my <laughs> december journaling i always fall behind in my daily journal always there's blank pages and um, I go back and fill them in later sometimes. Hopefully I can remember what the heck was going on. And if not, then I just draw in there. Sometimes there's not even anything. But that's where, again, the weeks comes in handy for me. I like to have these together because a lot of times I will have this with me as I'm out and about. So if something happens that day, I can write it down quick in here. You know, like even if it's just a little funny thing that somebody said or, you know, I just went to a, a store or I, I don't know anything, um, had coffee with someone, I can jot it down. Then when I'm going to fill this out between the photos on my phone and my little notes in here, I generally can go back and fill in anything I may have missed. So these are essential for me. Um, these are my daily, everyday journals. And now I'm going to add in something new that I haven't had before, and that is this item. And I believe it says, it's not a planner, it's not a diary, it's a techo. The Hobonichi techo is all of those things, but it's not any one of those things. It's a life book. Whether you write down your daily schedule, a special memory, or nothing at all, every day is special. This techo is your close companion through it all. I love that. So just saying, this is your everything book. So this is a brand new book called A Hone, which has many meanings in Japanese, one of which is book. So they came out with this, I think last year was when they introduced these books. And I did not buy one, but I picked this one up this year and I had to wait for the English version to go on sale. So the Japanese version went on sale back in September. This one came out uh, a little bit later. This is the English version. So we're just going to crack into this. And this is a little hardcover book. I have not seen this before. And this comes in both sizes, but I wanted to get the smaller size because I feel like, oh, it has a little, hold on. I'm just going to put that to the side for a minute. Um, but I wanted to get uh, this size just because I feel like I, I can use the space better in this one. I feel like it's not so overwhelming. I did buy a cousin as well, which is the A5 size. So I'll show you that too. And this design was illustrated by Dr. Tomatado Makino, who was a botanist known as the father of Japanese botany. And this is my first time. There's several designs that have come out through the years with his illustrations, but this is the first one that I have, and so I'm excited about that. And the back is just plain. 
uh, but it's very beautiful. It's hardcover and yet it's still somewhat pliable. And this is a book that has, so it has the grid and everything in there. And it has the English quotes at the bottom. And I thought I would use this, give this a go, and try this as a daily creative. Because it's small enough I won't be overwhelmed, even if all I did was, you know, put some paint on there. And the paper is very good for that sort of thing. It can handle watercolor. It does sometimes get a little bit wrinkly, but it does handle quite a lot of mediums really well. And perhaps I can illustrate that in another video. We can grab some different things and throw it in here and see what happens. So it does come with this uh, pencil board as well. And these are excellent because they really help so that you don't accidentally transfer some of your pen marks or pencil marks to the next page. And I like that it has this index tab here too. I don't think any of mine have that. So if you're writing on January 1st, you put this under and then you can write on there and um, you don't have to worry about the marks going through to the following page. And this has a nice grid too, so you could use this for like a little ruler or something like that if you wanted to. So this goes in here like this, and then I did get also the cover for this because, oops, I did get the cover, the vinyl cover for this book as well, this Techo, because I want to make sure I protect the beautiful illustration on the cover. So yeah, I haven't really had a daily creative. Oh, there's something here. I'll read that in just a minute. Oh, it's some information. So again, we've got to bend the book a little bit to get it in there. And then it's all good. And then we'll just tuck this in. And we have this card here. It says, Tomatado Makino was born in Sakawa, a rural village west of Kochi City on the 24th of April in 1862. His curiosity in plant life soon developed into a devotion to botanical research. At the age of 22, he moved to the capital to pursue his interest at Tokyo University. Three years later, he launched the botanical magazine Tokyo, an esteemed journal still published today. An avid field botanist, Makino collected some 400,000 botanical specimens and named over 1,500 new species and subspecies of plants during his life. This information was provided by the Kochi Prefectural Makino Botanical Garden. And it's the same in Japanese, so that's beautiful. I'm going to tuck that right in here because I do want to remember that. And then we've got our little guy here. Kind of tuck him in the back right there. Fits perfect. That will protect that. So yeah, this is going to be my daily creative. So I've got daily creative. And I have my memory keeping here. And then I have my weeks to plan. And then the other thing I picked up is one of these techos called a cousin. Now, as you can see, this is bigger. These are the A5 size, so they're quite a bit bigger. And I've gotten these cousin books before, and I never quite know what to do with them. I use them from time to time. I was using it for a creative, but I really wasn't using it often. So that's why I decided to go to the A6 size. I thought that would be better. A5 size, I did still want to have a nice big one, though. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do this for a creative or what I'm going to use this for, but I'm still kind of working that out. And then I got the cover to go with it. Is this one here from Liberty Fabrics. It's called Hollyhocks. And it's a beautiful fabric cover. I just loved the colors of these flowers and I loved this like sage green. So that was very soothing to me. And then inside you can see it's similar. Same exact thing as the A6, it's just bigger. Let me know if you have a large size techo or planner or journal and let me know what you use it for. And if you use it for a daily creative or if you have any ideas, it might just be a random book. You know, maybe it'll be a list of 
the books I'm reading or I don't know. I've never quite known what to do with it, but I thought maybe this will be the year I figure it out. <laughs> we'll tuck our little pup back there and then we'll just get our cover again to protect it. All right, so we tuck that in that end and we tuck this in this end and just kind of goes right over the edges there. And then we are good to go. So this is pretty much ready. The only other thing I have is I have these little folders, which also feature the Yumi Kitagishi illustrations, the same ones that were on the Techo, the smaller size Techo. And these are little folders that you can put your papers in and then you can have them right in here. They fit right in there. Oh, and the last thing I have too is I bought one of these pads of paper, again, featuring the illustrations from uh, Yumi Kitagishi on the cover. And inside, it's all extra paper. It's blank paper, and it has a little design at the bottom. And this is really helpful because if you are writing a journal entry in here, or illustrating, or whatever you're using this for, and you need more than one page, and you don't want to go over into this page because something's happening on that day too. So what you can do is rip out a page here and use some washi tape, and you can tape it right in here, and then you have another page, another double-sided page that gives you plenty of room, or you can do it right in here and have it right there. So I love having this paper as well. And then I did also pick up the little folders for my smaller size journal for the A six. So I do have three. This one came with three. Sorry about the glare. And that goes with that. So that's what I have. That's what I have for my Hobonichis. I have other journals too, but these are in my Hobonichi collection for 2024. And now let's see what we have in these bags. Let's see if we have something new. I hope we get at least one new one. Let's see. Oh, it's a new one. Yay, I don't have this one. So this one's a little smiley, happy day. So it's like two eyes and a smile right there, a little squiggle for the hair. Oh, that's awesome. All right, I've got, now I have, so I have three out of the four designs. So if I get that last design, that would be so cool. Let's see. Will it be something? Oh my gosh. Look, I did. We did it, guys. We got all of them. I cannot believe that, actually. That's so awesome. I was not expecting that. I thought for sure I'd get like two more of the snack ones or something. Wow. Okay, so we have the collection. That is pretty cool and definitely unexpected. So thank you so much for joining me and for having a look at what Hobonichis I'm using. Let me know if you're using Hobonichis and how you're using them. And again, if you have any suggestions for the larger cousin size, I would love to know. Next, I will be setting these up inside, decorating the January pages and getting going. And I will make a follow-up video so you can kind of see the start to some of these things. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Again, thank you so much for being here and I will see you again soon.